10,070 pounds, 10,070 pounds. Cougar 327 RES, one owner here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, we're selling this for some folks on consignment. If you have an RV you'd like to have us sell for you, if you're somewhat in the local area, bring it down. We'll, you know, get it on here and we'll sell it just like we sell our inventory. We can do, even though this is a consignment sale, we still do trades, we still do hitching, pieces, parts, financing, accessories. We only do everything every time at Haylet RV. Um, so uh, if you'd like to see if we still have this in stock and, and what the owner's asking for it, visit the video description right down here. Uh, it's one click away. It says check for price and availability. It'll show you if we still have this in stock and uh, what they're asking. Think of it kind of like real estate, guys. Pretend you're looking at a home and we're a real estate agent. Congratulations. You already know how this process works. In case you're curious why it's hooked up to a truck, uh, I work that fast. This is the, the owner's three-quarter ton uh, that we have this on right here. And they're not even uh, done signing up their listing contract. And I'm out here working on it. They were Florida snowbirds. They uh, lived six miles away in Quincy, Michigan, next to Coldwater. Um, and despite the... So it's never really spent out time or time outside in the winter. So it's spent a lot of time in the sun. But you can see how the gel coat's still on the file on here. So this has been very well kept. It's been clean. They obviously did like a, a wash and wax and UV inhibitor. This has been maintained the way you want it to be. It was not their first RV. When I asked them, why are you getting rid of it? Uh, basically, they said, you know, um, we've been, we've towed all over the United States. And then a couple years ago, we had our first blowout, and it just started to put a sour taste in my mouth. And I don't know what it was. I just really didn't want to tow much anymore. So we're thinking of maybe finding a small house down there in Florida. Um, so they're still traveling. They're, you know, they're not like old and done, uh, you know, living or anything like that. They just... I don't know, just decided they were kind of done with this. They want to try a different adventure. Who knows? Maybe they'll find their way back to camping. A lot of people do. Maybe the new thing will work for them even better. So, when they had that blowout, they replaced all four tires. So you've got four brand new tires on here. And uh, when they did have the blowout, the fender trim, the fender well trim got uh, dinged up a little bit. That got replaced too. So again, these folks, they didn't just scavenge from their RV. Anything it needed, it got... The nose cap still looks great. I don't see any sign of sun fading. Again, these people did the things they needed to. Max turn, well, first of all, we're a Cougar dealer ourselves at Halet RV. So that link in the video description may also show you some other Cougars. We, you know, we sell these all the time. Very familiar with this, the Max turn technology. If you get down here and look, you'll notice that the, the front beam on a Cougar is a nice radius beam. What that does is it makes the nose stick out a little further and it makes the back stick out a little less. But instead of having angled cut beams it's a one piece smooth radius we all know that a radius is stronger than an edged corner that means that this is a stronger structural item it also allows you to get um tighter turns on a uh, a short bed like this even though he has that tonneau cover you see uh this fella did not have any fancy expensive slider hitching or anything like that just normal fifth wheel hitching did the job Something else I noticed that they added to it here is they uh, put on some strong arm stabilizer jacks. And uh, that is just fantastic. These things are awesome for keeping the RV really rock solid at their campsite. Um, you know, it doesn't tend to get tipsy or wobbly when you walk around the coach. And I cannot get over, I mean, just the, the cleanliness inside and outside of this thing. They, I wish people brought more used RVs in this kind of shape. This is nice. None of the decals, none of them, even where they're really dark, they're not peeled, they're not fading, they're not cracked. This is in top, top shape. Big, giant, wide pass-through. Now, you're going to see some extra accessories in here. There's a spare tire, by the way. The fellow just didn't like leaving it hang off the back. You got some extension cord action. We've got, you know, uh, like, you know, sewer accessories and things like that. Some extra water hose accessories. This is the uh, water inlet. He kind of remanufactured this. He didn't like... Um, the way that the water hose hooked up, he never felt it got a good clear connection. It always kind of trickled, dribbled a little bit. So he remanufactured it and put the the hook up on this, and then he ran that uh, this down through that little porthole right there. So if there wasn't any drips, it went down below. It didn't stay encapsulated in his RV. Very particular. Um, Cougars have been zero degree rated since like 05 or something like that. Um, so uh, fully enclosed, heated, insulated underbelly, extra insulation in the roof, everything you ex expect, you know. This is, uh, I guess the phrase that's used nowadays is four seasons. I dislike that phrase because it gives people false perceptions, but it is zero to 100 degree rated, published, tested, proven. Um, 
today's Cougars that we have brand new on our lot here at Halet RV have a fold down rear bike rack. Um, for many, many years though, they had this slide out rear bike rack tray. It's got about a 200 pound capacity on it. It's got a post that you can stick up and chain some bikes to. It does a great job. I've been on the roof, roof looks great. Roof looks like the rest of it. I mean, the, the, these people kept this thing in top condition. I can't get over just the, the shine factor on the skin here. They, this thing is still gleaming. Um, stepping inside, it does not disappoint. Actually, the whole darn thing continues to gleam and shine and look pretty darn good. I won't be surprised if while we're in here they start unhooking the truck. That won't shock me. So the 327 RES is one of the very few rear entertainment models in the business that's still popular today. Rear entertainment has largely died. So why has this one continued to be so successful? And I think the answer is honestly the simplest things in the world. I think it's a matter of furniture selection and smart appointment. And I'm going to point that out as we go here. And this is true even of the new 327 RES that we carry. So you've got dual opposing uh, super slides. You've got a big extra deep slide over here. And you've got about a two foot super slide on this side. We'll, we'll see that one in a minute. Normal, you know, freestanding table. Uh, you're um, very lightweight, yet very comfortable Euro chairs. And something I wanted to point out to again show you how detail oriented these people were. They even put little pieces of cardboard on the arms of the chairs so that when they strap the chairs down in transit, it wouldn't stress and, and crack and break the, uh, the leatherette that we have going on here. These folks knew exactly what they were doing. They were very good at this. Every window, by the way, even the slide side windows, all of these things open for airflow. And these rear windows and those little slide side windows opening for airflow are so clutch because not everything does that. Of course, central air, central heat, um, you know, everything you expect out of this. Now, this is an electric space heating fireplace in the back. Uh, so spring, fall camping like it is right now at the time of this filming, that's that's where this is nice because you don't have to burn up your propane for a little supplemental heat. Now, um, you know, DVD, CD, stereo, not Bluetooth. You'll find that in uh, a little bit later models. But you see how the TV can kick out and angle sideways? I think that is one of the reasons that this Cougar has remained such a popular option within the market. Because when I sit in these chairs, I turn and I'm staring straight at the TV, no neck strain. Or I can kick it over sideways here and I can I can stretch out on this big party lounge couch. And I love this L-shaped, almost residential-ish sectional style sofa. I see I'm not going to put my shoes on this person's furniture nor your potential future furniture, but you get the idea. Take your shoes off, or I guess if it's yours, leave your shoes on. Kick your foot up here and then just, just sit in this corner and just lounge. This is the perfect little napping couch. On a rainy day where you're just stuck in the camper and you just want to snooze for a minute with the sound of the, the rain just sort of tickling on the top of the uh, the roof skin. This is right where you're going to be, right here. And this is what it's going to look like. You're just going to be watching a movie, you're going to doze in and out, and you're going to be like, wait a minute, what's on TV now? Because the movie's already over because you slept through it. <laughs> good side storage on both sides of that, and good overhead storage above the TV as well. Another little passive benefit of the kickout TV as you can actually get to the plugs in the back of the TV. It's it's just easier to get to and when you're done it slides back, it locks in place for transit, no worries. <coughs> Alright, this sofa over here, this section is an air bed, hide bed, sleeper sofa. It's got a storage drawer below. I have not looked around, I haven't been in it long enough to see if the air bed like bladder, the actual mattress itself is still present. If not, that's like 20 bucks at Walmart. Don't get too worried over that. This section storage, so there's really just nothing wasted in here. And you know, Cougar is and has been the number one selling fifth wheel in its class. And, and more often than not, it's been the number one selling fifth wheel period f like 14 straight years. Um, these guys have just, they've just run unopposed for the longest time now. And they continue to be another, number one. It's one of the things we love about them here at Halitz. We offer this thing brand new. If, if this RV is sold, but you're like, oh my gosh, I like everything about this layout, give us a call. I got a brand new one with updated appointments here. Obviously a little different money. That's one of the nice parts about a used one, but I still got them here. Um, countertop space. Oh my gosh. There's two things I've never had anybody trade in an RV because of. I've never had someone trade in a camper because it's got too much counter space. And I've never had somebody trade in something because I can't keep the cabinets full. <laughs> And this does a good job of making you have to work to use all the countertop and cabinet space in here. They've done a good job of that. And one of the reasons I want to put this video together too 
is this little chunk right here. It's, it was not very still photo friendly. I love this little stand. This is the coolest little appointment. They have a little stand for you to like set your keys on or toss your keys in there or whatever. However this works for you, they got a handy little utility station right when you walk in the door. And then, right next to it, we have an extra coat closet that you could easily repurpose into pantry space if you were so inclined. But it's, that's a personal thing. I, it drives me nuts when I see big fifth wheels that don't even give you a spot to hang a coat by the door. And obviously, this RV does not suffer from that deficiency. Stepping upstairs, oh by the way, your main control panel is all in one spot. You have remote control um, power ceiling fan up here by the way, so if you are cooking up a storm, whoosh, you can just exhaust all the heat in the world right there, or just use it for airflow. But you do have remote control here for things like uh, maybe your slide outs and some other systems. Um, handy little thing, if you never use it, just leave it right here, and they actually built in a perfect little spot for it. I've seen a lot of manufacturers use these, I've never seen them have a dedicated location for it like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, big bathroom, lots and lots of leg room. I like this because after you get out of the bathroom, you can actually get dressed. You don't have to take your naked butt running through the living room on the naked mile street to get yourself dressed when you get out of this bathroom. And it is dual entry. You can get to it here from the hallway, or you can you see through there, you can get to it from the bedroom. And I like that they did this um, almost well, frosted-ish you know, glass door here because it allows some light to exchange, but you don't lose privacy. It makes everything look and feel bigger. This is a 50 amp service coach. And although there's not a second air on it now, and remember, these people went to Florida with one air. You're, you're fine. It's got the bigger air upgrade on it. But they did put in the bigger power vent fan up here so that at night, you can open these side windows there. You can open this window here. And this thing can suck a lot of air out because we're at the, the top highest part of the fifth wheel. Heat rises, so you're going to have a thermal hot blanket covering the roof of the uh, interior ceiling here. Well, you turn that fan on and it sucks all that heat right out and it pulls cold air in so that you stay nice and cool and comfortable. 60 by 80, true queen mattress, so real queen sheets are gonna fit that. Big wardrobe space up front, all kinds of storage dresser space going on in here. Again, these folks used it in Florida seasonally for several seasons and had a great time. They just decided after a bad towing experience, they're gonna try to change things around. They've done the RV thing for a while. Maybe they'll just get a little house down there. Little side stands next to this, by the way. Um, I haven't fully measured it, but what I'm suspecting is you could either use these side stands for like phone chargers or CPAP machines, because they're making traveler CPAP smaller now, guys. If you don't know, look into that. But I think if you take those stands out, you might, might be able to get a king bed in here. It's going to be close. Um, the only thing is, if you do that, you're going to give up some of your walk-around space. And right now, there's a very good walk-around space here. And I don't know if you want to sacrifice that. That's a personal decision. I'll leave that up to you guys. So again, if you like what you see here, you appreciate the information we give you at Haylet RV, give us a call. Link in the video description to check price and availability. And you can see the other brand new Cougars that we do offer here at Haylet's. Um, you know, we clearly publish pricing. We don't play hidden charges games, you know. You don't pay extra for prep and destination fees on a new RV here at Haylitz. Give us a call. Learn more. 800-256-5196. Haylitz RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.